Okay, the Epsom salt hack, you gotta stop it. Please, seriously, it's not, not what you think it is. Hello Canadian gardeners, cold climate gardeners, and gardeners of the extremes. How are you guys doing today? My name's Ashley, if you're new around here. I'm a soil scientist by formal education with a minor in plant science, and on this channel we take that science and we apply it to gardening and plant care tips. So if you like the sounds of that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you are returning, hello, how are you guys doing? We're on to the next one. So today we're going to be talking about Epsom salt. And this is running rampant. And it's specifically running rampant for Blossom and Raw. And we are going to talk about why this is such a... I don't actually know how this became a thing, but whatever. It is now, so let's retract it, get back to the basics, and use some common sense. So if you don't know what Epsom salt is made of, it's made of magnesium sulfate. So Epsom salt is essentially what you put in the bathtub to kind of relax your muscles because magnesium sulfate relaxes your muscles. And it's also something that's commonly used in kind of those float, zero gravity bathtub thingies. That is actually also a high dose of magnesium sulfate so when it comes to plants and the soil profile we already know about bioavailability we already know about what forms the nutrient has to be in to be absorbed into the plant and epsom salt literally falls into the category of highly bioavailable for plant uptake and accessible for the plants immediately upon application but this isn't a good thing in this case. So where eggs, coffee grounds, and bananas fall short because they can't be brought up into the profile due to lack of viability, the Epsom salt falls into the category of readily bioavailable and therefore shoots the whole theory to poop. So magnesium sulfate in the soil profile is something that plants will have an affinity for However, magnesium competes directly with calcium in the soil's profile, and magnesium is abundant in North American soils. From the US to Canada, you should never have a magnesium shortage, especially as a gardener, maybe as a mass producer or a heavy intensive producer, but not as a basic gardener. You will never have a magnesium deficiency. But what happens is because magnesium and calcium are in competition with each other, if we look at the periodic table, we can see the charge of magnesium relative to calcium. This means that magnesium is more likely to be taken up into the plant and therefore causing a calcium shortage. Now, fun fact, calcium, huh, because calcium is in direct competition with magnesium and magnesium always wins out, we end up with even more blossom end rot. Yes, more blossom end rot. Blossom end rot is caused by lack of calcium. And because calcium isn't being taken up into the profile because we've decided to add Epsom salt, what ends up happening is we end up with more of the end rot. So do not use Epsom salt at all whatsoever, even in a low quantity in your soil, it will cause more issues than you will gain. If you do have blossom and rot and you're wanting to alleviate it, the best thing to do is actually just to water on a regular basis to ensure that that calcium is bioavailable in the soil. We need to add water so then it is transported to the roots and it is brought up into the roots via osmosis or diffusion and don't over fertilize. The more we fertilize, the more we change the pH of the soil and therefore we change the bioavailability of calcium being absorbed into the plant. Just check out this pH chart that shows when calcium is bioavailable, not so much because of lack of calcium in the soil because calcium is relatively abundant. So Epsom salt completely busted, do not use it. I don't know where this myth came from. It causes more harm then good, I can promise you that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below if you've ever used Epsom salt and fallen into the trap and what results you saw from it. And as always, be sure to subscribe and share this video with someone you love. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.